Greetings, my fellow wargamers. This is a channel update, and uh, I'm also just showing what I got recently. We'll start from Moonstone starter set. I just got this. I'm not new to Moonstone, by the way. I already got one of our human starter sets, a rule book, and uh, the giant character. Um, but this is a really nice two-player starter, <coughs> which has basically the cards which you need to play the game. <coughs> this was originally going to be an unboxing, but the thing is, this box wasn't actually sealed. It was you just you know you just open it and that's it. And I sort of picked it to it already, and it was full of uh, peanuts and. Uh, <laughs> Well, I just removed the peanuts, but that means that's not that's no longer unboxing, really, but I hate peanuts. Yeah, I heard some people even allergic to them. <clears throat> right, and um, actually, I don't know who put peanuts in there. I don't think it was Goblin King Games. It might have been Pegasus who just... Because the peanuts in the actual... inside of the actual packaging, uh, the brown box, it was exactly the same as the ones inside this, so... <laughs> and there was this card as well. Pegasus. Uh, hobbies and games. Yeah, I, I doubt Goblin King Games put that in there, so... Yeah. <clears throat> uh, let's just get all of this out. So that's the beginner rule book. I mean, I already have full rule book, but I suppose it's nice to have a small one. Well, trouble is, it's not exactly small. It's like it's a, <laughs> it's the size of the box. But so it's not a mini rule book. It's just thin. That's all. Um, uh, I think something like this will actually get damaged easily. If you like, you can't just put this in a bag with you. You need some sort of folder to put this in. But anyway, I already know the rules, and uh, I'm going to do a review of a game fairly soon, I hope. Because this game is really something, and I'm not just saying this because I know one of the people who makes it. And Richie, if you're listening to this, um, I promise I will start painting these miniatures soon. It's just I got really carried away with uh, ground earth miniatures. Uh, see, I don't know if I'm gonna put this one on hold or not. I might just finish. This is the last miniature I need to do. But, um, and all this other stuff, I don't know. So many miniatures, so little time. Okay, let's have a closer look at what we got. Now, <laughs> um, I don't know why, but uh, I think I think you can actually write on these cards with a marker. Don't take my word for it. I need to double check, but um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a felt pen. Um, little baggie has the dice, so that's the d6s and the, the dice which actually represent moonstones. Yeah. I'm gonna put them back. The counter like counters now the tape measure is quite nice very compact uh, securing as well clever um, let's 
So the profile cards for everything. The combat cards and uh, these magic cards which you use for bluffing. I guess it's all about miniatures and uh, I mean I already praised Moonstone miniatures before I mean they look kind of like confrontation figures style wise I mean they're just as whimsical and all but um, there are much more details so this guy is from Human Faction. Like a sniper. The only problem with them, some of them are really, really fiddly. But, I mean, it's not a problem for me, I'm, I'm an experienced model and all this goes so here somewhere yeah. I am an experienced modeler but for other people that that could be problematic um, uh, so that's one of the nobles The guy's name was Flintlock, and this is Baron Von Fancy Hat. This is Eric the Squire. Mm, nice backpack. So that's inside here. And I'm not sure how this goes. Like there's quite a bit of a flash on this thing. Now, for each faction, there's a unique character here who's only available in the two-player starter box. And um, this is Friar Flavius. Yeah, he's enormous. How does it go? Oh, like this. goblins and uh, this is Beaky Bobby there's uh, like test tubes and flasks inside his coat This is the tiniest figure in a whole box, Vicious Midget. 
Um, well, he's actually a goblin, but mm, I suppose he's a midget for goblins, so that makes him like really tiny. So he's wearing a full plate armor. Really tiny full plate armor. Now this is probably my favorite miniature in the box, uh, a goblin riding a pug, it's a, a dog, dog the flatulent. <laughs> yeah. So that fits like this. And that's the pug's head. I mean, they feel a lot like confrontation miniatures, probably similar softer metal is used. But, uh, I mean, again, there are a lot more details on a lot more detailed than confrontation. That's a shield. Um, hmm. Now, I thought this head with, uh, with the visor up was only for Kickstarter backers, but I got that one as well, and that's the standard head. Actually, I prefer the standard one, to be honest. I mean, his nose is too long. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I think I'll use the standard head. And uh, that's the Goblin V miniature, which we can only get in a two-player starter. Um, I'm not sure what that is, some sort of spray. Uh, he's got four arms. Some sort of mutant. Ah, oh, he's got like a, a beetle-like body with little wings. Like a firebug or something. Yeah. Right, so that's Moonstone. The other thing I got was Bushido Minamoto clan starter. Now, a third edition of Bushido is gonna come out sometime next year, so... They're rebalancing profiles and all, so... That's the cards. Now, interesting thing about these miniatures, well that set in particular, is that they all single piece. So these are not fiddly at all, just, just base them and paint them. No need to pin. So Minamoto are the back line, and they're all armed with Tatsubos. <clears throat> and uh, this guy is a blacksmith. And there are a lot of blacksmiths in this faction. It's 
So in instead of like, you know, Shugenchas and like magic users, they get blacksmiths. <laughs> so there you have it. The Moonstone game review is on the way, as well as many more miniature showcase videos. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and I would be really grateful if you share the video. It would help this channel find new audience. See you soon!